Manny's Association General Manager Carl Stevens here with Marine Director Larry Sankowski. And Larry, it's an exciting day. Your bubbler curtain has arrived. It has arrived, and we are uh, deploying these air stations. We have four of them on the bottom right now. One of the compressors is running, actually it's running right now. Um, very quiet, insulated cabinet. Um, so at the end of the project, we'll have 15 of these diffusers. Um, bases, what they call it, they call it a air station uh, and each air station has two nine inch diffusers on it they're teflon coated uh, and this releases millions of bubbles into the water column uh, that creates a turbulent and a kind of a false wall if you will um, from anything from the very bottom all the way up to the surface so even though you only have four of them you can already see the bubbling action happening and the, the key is we're trying to keep all the silt from coming in to have to do as much dredging and also keep some of the rack out too right but it's right yeah Traditionally, these systems are used to manage floating debris like the marsh rack and seaweed. Um, in our um, installation, uh, we're setting several of them down across the bottom, and um, we're going to try to trap the sediment on the outside of the wall and not allow it to come in. Um, and so that's that's the purpose of the bubble. So we have a two-year test run we're doing, working with UGA and uh, seeing how this works. If it's successful, it should dramatically cut down on how much dredging we have to do each year. Yeah, the, the amount of material that we remove, um, it takes about 30 days. We, you know, typically that's about our run on a dredging cycle. Um, and, you know, that's $100,000 to $150,000 a year. Uh, if we can reduce that, then we should see a great savings by installing this system. DNRs allowed us to do a research monitoring per permit, as you said, with uh, UGA. Uh, so we'll run this prop this project for a two-year period, uh, and then during that time, we'll be taking biometric surveys about every six months, recording our depths, just to see how effective uh, the system is for what we're looking for. Timing's perfect because we just completed dredging for this year, getting the bathymetric survey right now to see the depth. So, yeah. Great time. I know you've been working on this for two years. Very excited. Yeah, yeah very excited to get it installed and, and uh, start monitoring it and see how we can, you know, we have our best interest at heart uh, for the property, and, and this is one of the examples of that. Well, very creative. Thanks so much, and we'll keep you posted on how it goes.